Well, here in Missouri, there's four things we really focus on from a training standpoint. Uh, number one, obviously, we're strength and conditioning. We focus on, on increasing athletic performance. Uh, within that, obviously, you have to have great equipment. Uh, and with the hammer strength line of ground base and racks, uh, we're able to do a lot of different things from a variety standpoint that we're able to help continue increasing athletic performance over the course of an athlete's entire career, uh, four years, five years, whatever it is. They're able to continue to increase. Our coaches are able to continue to put variety in the program and continue to make them better athletes. Uh, the second thing we work on is reduction of injury. And going back to the equipment, being able to put them through different variety of movement patterns over the course of their career, they will learn more movement patterns, which will help them on the field, which will hopefully reduce the chance of injury while they're playing their sport. Uh, the third thing we work on, mental toughness. Uh, there's a lot of things we do from a mental toughness standpoint. You've got to have tough equipment to do that. The fourth thing is increasing confidence. And the athlete does that through getting better in the different lifts, the different tests, the different tests that we perform, whether it be speed, explosion, strength. Uh, those are the things that we test on. And when they see their improvements in that and how much they've improved and all that hard work has paid off, their confidence is going to increase. And a more confident athlete is going to make for a better player on the field. Uh, something that we do from a testing standpoint is we have the PR paradigm. It's the personal record. And every athlete in our, in our program knows what the PR paradigm is. So whether it's softball to football to basketball to baseball, when they're in the weight room and they hear somebody yell out PR, they know that that person just set a personal record. And everybody gets really excited. We, we create a great atmosphere like that, and everybody's excited for each other. It creates cohesion among the sports. Everybody's getting better. That person who just set the PR wants to get better uh, again, and then a person who's lifting with them wants to get better, a person in the rack, five racks down wants to get better, so on and so forth. What you'll find with incoming freshmen is a variety of backgrounds, from training, uh, whatever they've done in high school, if they've done something or if they've done nothing, or if they've done a little bit of this and it was wrong, uh, there's a huge variety of training backgrounds uh, when they come in as freshmen. So what we do here in Missouri with football is we have a level zero program and what that means is those guys come in and we are assuming that they don't have much of a training background at all and what we do is we put them through movement patterns and while we're doing those we're looking for deficiencies in movement to see what we need to work on what certain athletes might need help with but whether it's posterior chain or if it's hip mobility or if it's shoulder mobility so we're putting them through a variety of different movements and the secondly we also put them through uh, the mental side of it, what it takes to be a Missouri football player. So, so there's a lot of observation of movement, but there's also a lot of mental capacity training. This is what it takes to be a Missouri football player. So essentially that's level zero. Those guys will be in that program for a few weeks, uh, whatever it takes. Um, but what we're looking for, like I said, was some movement deficiencies. And what we'd like to do more, more of is to be able to do a movement screen with every incoming freshman and throughout the course of their career continue to do those movement screens. Um, and it's something that we're looking into and it's something we do on a limited basis right now. But again, it's, it's how many people you have and the ability to do that with you know, 125 football players and then 350 other student athletes that we here, have here at the University of Missouri. So it's something we're looking into and something we think is important. Something else I think that would be helpful for incoming freshmen is if during the course of their high school careers um, they had more access to some of the things that are going on from a training perspective and something that we're very adamant about here at the University of Missouri with our staff is a willingness to learn. We're constantly seeking new information and I think it's something that we would like to pass that down to high school coaches. I know they don't always have a strength conditioning coach but those individual sport coaches who have a passion for their sport and want to make their athletes better, continue to seek out that information, contact your, lo your local universities or any university that might have a program. Uh, we actually do something here where we send coaches out to help educate high school coaches. And I think that's important to seek that information out to help your athletes move on to the next level and be prepared because freshmen can play. And that's very important if they're ready to play or if they're just prepared to play. Secondly, and probably even more important than just training, is the athlete's nutrition when they first come in. They do not, most of the time, they do not know how to fuel themselves properly to, 
to work at the highest Division One level possible. Um, just sports in general, if you move on to the college level, it's going to be a higher demand than what you saw in college. The competition is going to be higher. People are going to be more competitive. So nutrition is of paramount importance. And one thing that we see from our athletes a lot of is, number one, they don't eat breakfast, they don't drink enough water, and they don't eat their fruits and vegetables. So those are things that we really, uh, Coach Heitmeyer really hammers down with our our student athletes when they first come in and throughout the course of their careers is doing those three things. Um, so we live in a fast food world. Trying to get some of those habits broken is one of the things that's important. It's something that high school athletes should be aware of.